Hey guys, what's up? Hello, welcome back to another Scuffed Iron Man video. Last episode we were doing just a bunch of skilling and we got 60 prayer and 72 agility. And 72 agility allows access to the hollow ship is sure, ship, 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 sure, all the way in Dark Mare. And that's going to be where we're going to do agility training once we can unlock it. We just got a few quests to do to get there and they're just really long and I think they're considered master tier quest too. But we're going to go on a quest and grind. Also, we're going to have to do King's Ransom because we have 60 prayer. We could use the Chivalry prayer ability, which is a mixture of the attack and strength and the defense prayer bonuses. And it's just going to be one of them rather than activating three at a time. So I think it saves prayer and it's also stronger. But for now, we just started the General Shadow mini quest. And we're just going to help General Kazard find all of his friends again, basically. And we're going to find a dog. So let's get to it. For General Kazar to start trusting us, we're going to have the Sincere give us the proof to, or give him a reason to, for him to trust us. So all we're going to do is give her 40 pieces of gold, and General Kazar should trust us now. We just bribe the Sincere. Now with General Kazard's trust, we're going to go help him find all the scouts around Gilinor, and we're going to have him meet him at a special meeting place. I think they're located in Karamja. The Trinum Village, Falador, and the desert. These scouts are so hard to see because they don't have a little yellow dot on the minimap, but this guy here he is. Just gotta keep your eyes out for all the scouts. I'm also gonna try out this quest helper plugin on Runelight, and it's basically just gonna tell us like everything we need, everywhere we need to go, and the scouts over here, and I think it should highlight the the scout too. I personally don't really like this because you don't it makes you miss out on like the whole searching and the puzzle and the conversations of everything. But I mean just for simplicity's sake, I think I'm I'm gonna just try it out for a little bit. Maybe on the harder quest we might turn it back on, but I also feel like it's more rewarding if we don't use the quest helper. But we're just trying it out. And we killed the ghost bouncer and we're gonna distract it by throwing a little leg. We got the Shadow Sword, and we also got a little bit of Slayer XP. I think that's considered quest complete. And this sword doesn't really do anything for us, but it's a cool two-hand sword that mixes with all these items. Also, since that we don't need these ghostly robes anymore, we can use this magic wardrobe that we made, and we can place in our ghostly set. And that should free up one, two, three, six inventory spaces for a bank. Back in Miscellanea started the Royal Trouble quest and the king of Miscellanea and the queen of etc are at each other's throats and they're about to rage war on each other but both sides have been having their people's things stolen so we're gonna have to investigate and we're gonna have to figure out how to bring peace to these two nations. The prince and the princess of Miscellanea actually had a good idea to end the quarrel between the king and queen we could just have them buried and that'd be very poetic but we still have to figure out who's stealing all this stuff it was neither the king or queen of miscellane and etc stealing from each other it was these remnant kids who failed the remnant trials unlike unlike me who is a beast and finished all the remnant trials except for the exiles but yeah they failed and so they decided that by trying to start a war between etc and miscellanea they could stop it and they could be seen as heroes and become considered as adults in Fremenic. But our task now is just to go kill the giant snake in here and we will help free these kids and also help the king rid of this snake. Snake killed and this heavy box of all the stolen things should be in here. So let's go return it and like that. The king and the queen are now at peace and royal trouble is complete and the rewards aren't really useful to us yet because we don't really do managing miscellanea anyway we got a little bit of xp but it doesn't really help out either in south rock and we started what lies below which is actually also one of the last quests in our bottom portion of the quest list which is kind of cool but what happened was that our boy ratty Burgesses got his trading cart racked by some outlaws so we're out to get some good old revenge and let's go slice up and dice up some outlaws 
We return to Raddy and give him his little papers back from the, the outlaws. And then he gives a task to give a letter to Sirach Magus. And Sirach Magus decides just to burn it in front of us and proclaim that he can turn clay into gold. But he needs us to get him some cool stuff so we can actually do it on a bigger scale. To upgrade his little wand, we have to go to the Chaos Altar, which is actually in Ten Wilderness. But we could just run through that, and I don't think we'd be attacked. But there's actually a path underneath the Saradoma statue, and we should unlock a music track while doing it. And also, lore-wise, this is where the Diagon High organization resides. Apparently, Sirok isn't actually a good mage in Rat. Raddy Bridget Burgess isn't actually a traitor. He's actually a Farrakh secret guard. And Sirach actually used us to make him that wand which he can mind control the king and take over Farrakh. So we just, got, <laughs> we just gotta fix what the little oopsie daisy. And what lies below completed. We followed the plans of Sirach and we became a Farrakh secret guard. And we also got some room crafting XP for 50 the room crafting. And the cool thing from this quest is actually we get this little beacon ring, which is plus two magic, which is one of the best magic rings in the game. It's not the best, but we don't have anything that helps us with magic, so it's kind of cool. Now starting Lunar Diplomacy. It's kind of like Miscellanea versus etc., but this one's just a lot cooler because if we complete it, we'll get access to the Lunar Spellbook, and we're going to get a cool little upgrade to our little Draymon staff that we walk around with like almost 24-7. Now after a while we finally made it to the Moon Clan Island because our ship was actually cursed by some of the Moon Islanders and we were going around in circles around the island but now after removing all the symbols we made it. We gotta enter Baba Yaga's house and it's just this big chicken and it's moving. I guess like cows moving kind of. How do you how do you just sit in here comfortably? Since I still don't have a fire talisman to enter the fire altar, I have to keep just going into the the rift every single time I want to go and enchant my... Well, not enchant. I have to go use my lunar staff or my draven staffs on each one of the talisman to whatever they're called. Altars of air, fire, water, now earth. So water next, earth. And I think we should have a lunar staff. Oh, never done that one before. I've only done the mine and chop one. What the, the, the... Huh. And look at that. We find the fully upgraded Lunar Staff. It's a little stronger than just the Draymond Staff, but there's no really any use to use it for casting spells or anything, but... Oh, I can't wear it yet. Now we gave the one Aeronomancer one of our Lunar Staffs, but now to equip it, like I said earlier, we need to have... Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, we can't equip it right now. But yeah, we have to go find the ceremonial items, which are the entire outfit. But look how cool this looks compared to the Draymond stuff. Now that we obtained the ceremonial outfit, we could enter the dream world. And to the dream world, we go. The ethereal lady looks so cool. The ethereal lady is just us because we're in our own dream, but we're going to play games with her and we're going to do some little squid game games. We got to race them. We're gonna, she gets the left path, I get this path. Not all paths are easy to take, but if you want to succeed and are willing to put in the effort, you can come out with success. And then this challenge, we're going to have to find the sequence that they give us. So one, six, two, five, so, well, it's given to us, but it looks like a three, four. By understanding others around you through communication with your surroundings, you can turn, learn a great deal about yourself. You can see how important it is to be able to communicate and relate with others. You can gain a lot of knowledge from it. The importance of being able to relate to others and a great deal of thoughts and emotions are shared between people. We can learn a lot from each other's. There's always an unknown variable in life, but there's always an answer. You just have to play the game and hope that you'll succeed. Every step is important to know where you were and where you're heading. 
this is the squid game challenge I was looking for. But, you know, the quest guide already told us what the answer is. So, a little bit cheating, but... Hey, this quest, this quest helper's plugin is making this go by super fast. And for the last game, it's showing the importance of being able to know your own abilities and have confidence in them. That was the six lessons, but I guess the last one is to fight myself. Look how cool I look. Oh, easy safe spot. And I killed myself. Thank you for the lessons, ethereal lady. Confronted myself, and I bested myself. The recap of make sense of others to understand yourself. Relate yourself to others. Use your abilities to progress. Aware of your past and present to help you in the future. Harness your confidence and appreciate the unknown. And that's Lunar Diplomacy completed. And I guess that we made the Lunar Isle friends with the Fremnix now. But we got... 2k or 5k magic xp and ring crafting i don't think we get a level of that but i think by praying at this altar we change to the lunar spell book and this is going to be really good for our wherever it is it's the i can't find it but it's gonna it's the the glass mix spell and that's going to be our best and our main crafting training later on here it is, super glass make. It just kind of requires level 77 magic, but we're not even close to that yet. I mean, it's not, we're in no rush for construct for crafting XP. I think our crafting is already part of the requirement, what we need for the most difficult quest. And also, since we have our magic wardrobe, we could store this lunar set into here, and that will save us eight bank spaces. But we get to keep this Draymond Staff, or not Draymond Staff, it's a Lunar Staff. It's basically just a reskin of the Draymond Staff. We could use the Fairy Rings and all with it, but it just looks cool. And I'm excited to start running around with this guy. Additionally, I forgot to add that by fighting me inside the Dream World, we actually can fight me within the Nightmare Zone now. And since there's more people to fight within the Nightmare Zone, that means we get more points per hour. And it's also considered one of the easier ones. So it's actually good thing that we complete that quest so when we go do some more afk nightmare zone just more points rather than i think we were kind of pretty weak on getting points last time but yeah new upgrade for us too starting the king's ransom and something's weird with the sinclair family they finally packed up moved after we caught the murder and the king's council has disappeared and so is king arthur i think that the sinclair family might be part of something weird here we show proof to the guard that the Sinclairs are up to something weird, but we're going to avoid the bureaucracy because since he has to submit the forms, it's going to take up to three months to figure out that we could take him to court. So we'll figure out how to speed it up. I mean, look at this prosecutor's little powder wig. Like It doesn't even cover all his hair. But we're definitely going to win this court case, and we're going to prove that our friend Anna is innocent. What? I freed Anna just for her to be the cause of killing the Lord Sinclair and David too. This metal door is locked, but there's this guy grooming his hair. So let's just see if he has a little hair pin on him. And he does. Now we gotta free our boy King Arthur by using our animated rock scroll on him. Just like how we did in One Small Favor, except this is out of stone, not rock, or, well, it's the same. And quick and easy, King's Ransom completed. A bunch of defense XP, a little bit of magic, and we have access to the, oh, well, 66 defense. We got this little unique lamp, goes on a herbler, and now we have access to the nice training ground. And we just head to the top floor of the castle, and we're going to enter here, and we're going to have to fight eight of the knights. And I think we could just flinch and safe spot them the entire time. But we have no we have no prayer, we can't use range or magic, so this is going to take a while. And I think flinching is all we have to do is wait till our HP of his bar is gone, and we just run out and smack him. Well, I messed that up, but we're going to do this for the entire way. And we got a bunch of XP out of it. We got... 20k in hit points, strength, attack, and defense, and now we have access to Chivalry and Piety, which is 
20% defense, 18 strength, and 15 attack, where everything is just at 15. And we could also change our spawn point to Camelot, but I don't think that's something we need. But yeah. Chivalry. I was making combination runes for the next quest, but I didn't realize that by making them, I actually lose this talisman, which is kind of sad, but I just hope we never have to use it ever. Out on the northern part of Kandarin, we are starting the Swan Song, and we're going to have to go enlist the old man, and he's going to help us join in the fight against some sea trolls battling or troubling this town. Look at the old wise man, he's feeling invigorated with his youth. He's hitting like 36s. I could be doing chivalry here too, but meh. Oh, and now he's out of runes, so now he throws rocks at the little trolls. The sea trolls keep spawning while I'm trying to catch the monk fish required, but well, I got a, got a long bone. Also, part of the quest requires us to enter the Wizards Guild, and that was our first time in here for a hard task for Ardun. Open this pot, and we could raise an army. An army of skeleton mages. And we will fight against the army of trolls. And the trolls are dead. Except for the troll general. Get him, old man. Whoa. Whoa, 254. The sea troll queen. How dare you? I wish we finish this fight by herself. And that wasn't terrible. Whoa. There's actually a bunch of people here. Oh. And that was the old man's last adventure he's ever done. And that would be his swan song. And we got 15k magic, 10k prayer, and fishing. And was completed. And now actually we have access to we have access to Piscatory's fishing guild now. Or not guild colony, so we could fish monkfish here now. So instead of eating bass or swordfish for 14 and 13 HP. We can combo weed it with the crumb ones. Well, the monkfish gives 16 and we combo weed it for a total of 34 HP rather than 31 or 32. So this will be our next best fishing AFK area compared to crumb ones. We already have a bunch of crumb ones. So monkfish time next time. Catching and cooking a monkfish after the quest is a hard task for the Western provinces. And I think I'm just going to Take a break from questing and just spend my day fishing monkfish for food. And we actually just got 30 day total playtime. 76 fishing with a barrel full of monkfish. Oh, we can do sharks now. But I heard that it's just actually really slow and we, if we want to get sharks we should just do minnows. But minnows requires 82 fishing if I'm correct. But that will net us the most sharks per hour. But for now, monkfish will be our best food. I made an oopsies earlier. These guys aren't part of the new quest. They're part of the holiday event. And same with Oziek up in the monastery. The monks are still trying to protest Oziek from buying the monastery. But to make them prevent him from buying it. Well, said prevent twice. But to prevent him from buying it, we're going to have to like, give him a little Halloween scare to make him think that this place is haunted. Ooh, spooky noises. Unfortunately, that was enough to scare him. I guess we have to go find more ghosts to help us. We found someone to help us, which is Grandma Iffy, and she's up to the job. But Death also wants this position to scare them because we need someone scary. But I don't think we don't need Death for this. I think Iffy's scary enough to prevent Oziak from 
find the monastery. Ooh, more spooky noises. And we did it. We saved the monastery. We scared him away. Ooh, two ghosts weren't enough, so death will come and help us. And to celebrate saving the monastery, we're having a night out of town. And for completing the quest, we got a bunch of holiday items. We uh, got this headless head. We got some ugly Halloween jumpers. We got a little ghost outfit. And we got, what is this? Old eek. What was a little spider? We got a little clown costume. And we also got a little pumpkin lantern. And I think we got these Halloween masks, and I'm not too sure how they work. And the good part about this is that even though we, these are cool items, they go right into the treasury chest or the costume closet inside our house. So let's go put those in really fast, and let's continue with questing for the and for a Halloween theme. We got one just lined up for us. Also, we got this little ha haunted wine bottle, and I think if we wait the ghost cool little collectible unfortunately I can't place these Halloween masks in here but actually I just realized that by completing the event we got all the previous Halloween items before so let's see what this one the 2003 scythe Kinda cool. Now we have a bunch of fashion scape that's available within here. Another level 80 coming to our collection. Level 80 cooking. And we can cook sharks now, but yeah, we can't cook or catch sharks. Or we can catch sharks, but it's just going to be too slow. And monkfish are just better AFK. And these monkfish are going to come in really nice once we get to the next quest. We'll get sharks eventually, but you know, monkfish are cool. I'll take the upgrade. Ah, uh, yes, gotta document every single imp event we get. Starting Regicide, and it's a continuation of the Plague series, and we're gonna be heading through the Underground Pass again. We're gonna enter the new realm of Tierwin, which is home to all the elf race people, and we've never seen a elf before, so this is gonna be fun. And they're also hostile towards us human race people, so. Here we are in the middle of the underground pass and we're going to take the well of voyage. I've actually never been to this area before so this is kind of exciting. This isn't the vault elven area I was thinking about. Ooh, where are we? Isfadar and Tierwin. I failed the traps too many times and I ran out of food but Luckily, there's this mushroom safe spot for this little guard over here. I can just hide right here and take my time. I have no more coal to distill. I have no space. I need another piece of limestone, and I never realized that I actually had the agility level to cross this little hill. Otherwise, we'd have to go through the basement of the church and walk around it. But yeah, that saves me like at least a minute or two. I don't know what the next use case this would be, but yeah, it saved me two minutes tonight. I had to go make this barrel bomb all the way in Remington. Now we're heading back through the underground pass and then we're gonna have to traverse through this forest again. And it's, it's gonna take like another 20 minutes just walk through everything. I thought the underground pass was bad, but man, the forest just takes forever too. I can't wait until we unlock this charter boat here and charter boat over there and we can just bounce around so fast. Now King Tyrus is actually assumed to be in this little army camp over here and we're gonna have to bring him out by starting war and we're gonna use this conveniently placed catapult and launch this barrel bomb that we made earlier but to do that to distract this guard we're gonna give him a little rabbit. Now we add the bomb to the catapult Hmm. We make it go kaboom. What? King Lathis isn't actually a good guy. 
he's a bad guy and he's working with Lord Iowerth, the elves, to bring back the Dark Lord. Well, for now we're just gonna tell him that everything's good and the job was completed. But what a shock. We killed Lord Tyrus for nothing. Well, not for nothing, we did it for Lathis, but... Oh boy. And that's Regicide completed. And we have access to Tyrwyn. We have this quick little... Well, not quick. We have this path to take rather than going to the underground pass. Probably should take it, save us a few minutes. But we'll, all we got is that. I think what we need to do is just enter air tier one more time so we can start mornings and part one and we can do roving elves and we could with mornings and i don't think we'll complete it but we have some of the starting stuff to get teleportation crystals 72 wood cutting and we're only three levels off from cutting magic trees and we're also almost at 75 hunter which might take actually or 7400 it might take a while to get there but once we get 7400 we use magic birdhouses or and then at 75 we can actually cut magic trees so that'll be our next upgrade for birdhouses probably the last level for today but 73 wood cutting and the gap gets wider 82 farming i don't think we get any of that but the gap is getting wider i haven't done any slayer in a while i saw i got the quest to do i got some agility training to do and then we, we can maybe get some xp we'll use or but wow the gap's just getting bigger and the time for each level is just gonna get longer and longer starting the roving elves and we're here to mend the prejudice between humans and the elves and we're gonna alleviate all the burdens of the past and we're gonna do it by gaining her trust and this will be how we're gonna get back at king lathis and find a resistance against him so we're just gonna head back to Bextorian Falls, place this pebble inside a little jar, and that's gonna be how we show respect to her grandmother, who we did a quest for a long time ago. Now we just plant the seed that it was enchanted. And it's a nice little tree. And now we just head back to Islowin. And the transportation between, oh, and the transportation to actually get to Tierwin isn't that bad. We can just take one of the charter ships and we're right here at Camp Towers. And since we finished Ghost Ahoy a little bit earlier, we have half price on the charter ships, which is kind of cool. So it goes from 3,200 to 1.6 thousand. And now with the Chaos Ring enchanted, we also get another 50% off, which makes it 800 gold per trip. And now we could pick between the crystal shield and the crystal boat. I mean, we'll get both of them eventually. But for now, I think we'll be picking the boat. Because that's actually a diary and a master clue. We can always get the shield later. And that's roving elves completed. And since... Oh, no. No, thank you. We can also, while we're here, talk to Elune. And we could start mornings and part one. And we got teleported all the way to whatever this place is called, Lytra. And we got these teleportation crystals, which I'll teleport us straight here now for the future quest when we do it. Oh yeah, crystal bow. Look how cool that is. Anyway, I think that's where we're going to end the quest for today. We've actually did a lot more quests than I thought we would. And it also took a little longer than I thought too. I promise these episodes are supposed to get shorter. But I'm working on it. But we got a few more quests to go. We're actually... 24 or 14 more quests left and then we're gonna get the quest cave and we're gonna be complete but we're gonna need some more skilling before we can actually do that and i do want to get some more skilling stuff in between so like a new graceful set we want to do some solar runs and we're gonna get a recolor skin so anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one